Welcome to Stat Plus, where we help you have smarter conversations on emerging technologies, economic trends, and global market shifts. The AI landscape has been shaken by a groundbreaking development. Chinese startup DeepSeek has launched an advanced language model at just a fraction of the cost of top-tier AI models like ChatGPT. This disruptive pricing strategy has sent shockwaves across the AI industry. Today, we'll break down DeepSeek's cost efficiency, its innovative training techniques, and the larger implications for AI markets worldwide. Let's dive in. DeepSeek's R1 language model, released last month, has achieved performance comparable to top-tier models like GPT-4 and Claude, but at a fraction of the training cost. This development has sent shockwaves through the tech industry, causing major US-based AI and semiconductor stocks to correct significantly. The magnitude of this disruption becomes clear when examining the pricing structure. DeepSeek's models are being offered at just 3 to 10% of the cost of US counterparts. For instance, while OpenAI charges $2.5 and $10 per million input and output tokens for GPT-4, DeepSeek's equivalent chat model is priced at just $0.14 and $0.28 per million tokens respectively, a staggering 95% reduction. DeepSeek has emerged as a major threat to the business models of AI companies not only in the US, but also in China. In response to this disruptive pricing, Alibaba has slashed the prices of their Quen models by approximately 97% to remain competitive. How did DeepSeek achieve such cost efficiency? DeepSeek attributes this cost efficiency to breakthrough algorithmic innovations in model training. They claim to have trained DeepSeek R1 for a mere $6 million, compared to OpenAI's reported $100 plus million for similar models. While Alibaba doesn't disclose their training costs, it's worth noting that they were a lead investor in a $1 billion round for Moonshot AI, a Chinese generative AI startup, just about a year ago. This suggests that mainstream Chinese tech companies are investing at similar levels as their US counterparts in training these advanced models. At the heart of DeepSeek's innovation is group relative policy optimization, a reinforcement learning technique that eliminates the need for a separate critic model during training. Mainstream approaches use this critic model to fine tune the LLM as it goes through the stepwise process of solving a problem. Thereby, the LLM's overall problem-solving performance gets rated and optimized. The rating is not limited to the correctness of the final answers alone. This process improves problem-solving performance, but is extremely compute-intensive. In GRPO, no separate critic model is used. Instead, the same LLM layers are sampled multiple times, like having multiple experts, and their interim outputs are rank-ordered. This rank ordering is then used to suitably reward the interim layers for stepwise performance, ensuring that the model gets trained holistically without requiring an external critic. While this approach is undoubtedly innovative, the claimed 90% reduction in training costs solely through algorithmic advancements raises skepticism and questions about why such an approach wasn't discovered earlier by US companies with their substantial R&D resources. Interestingly, such sampling techniques and expert systems have been fairly common in traditional ML, making it even more surprising that they were not leveraged sooner for LLMs. China's move to open source DeepSeek R1 and price it aggressively has significantly undercut the future revenue potential of US-based AI firms, potentially by as much as 90%. This marks a seismic shift in the AI industry's dynamics, disrupting the economics of LLM deployment. What's your take on this AI revolution? Do you think DeepSeek's aggressive pricing will force a major shift in the AI market? Or will US-based companies find ways to maintain their edge? And what are your thoughts on such an advanced model being released as open source? Does it accelerate AI progress or create new risks? Share your perspective in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay ahead of the latest developments. Stay informed, stay ahead. See you in the next video.